And this is the first Comic-Con that you had done outside of the US. Is that, that's correct, isn't it? Yeah, I, I only started doing a Comic-Cons when uh, with the Star Wars, uh, when the Obi-Wan Kenobi series premiered. It premiered at Celebration in Anaheim earlier this year, I guess. <clears throat> and so I, 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 I'd never attended a Comic-Con before, so I decided to, to, to uh, appear at that one for a couple of days. And I just had a great time. I found it was really special to meet the fans and to have a chance to interact with people, albeit very shortly. I know if you've come for a, an autograph or a, a photograph with me over the last couple of days, it's awful short and it's frustrating that we don't have time to um, chat to each other more, but still, nonetheless, it's very special and it, it feels great to meet the fans, so. And I'm sure it's special to each and every one of you. Have you enjoyed meeting Ewan? Thank you. Oh, we love it. We love it. Well, seeing as we were talking about the Anaheim Comic Con, obviously you living in, over in the States and now being back home here in Scotland, what do you miss most about all the beautiful heritage that is Scotland and the things that we can give you? I mean, are we missing sort of Tunnock's tea cakes and sort of <laughs> Tunnock's caramel yeah. wafers? I mean, the thing I miss the most about Scotland, of course, is my family who are sitting over here, my mum and dad and my brother and his wife Sarah and my, my nephew and my niece and being able to pop round for a cup of tea to see your family is something that I don't have when I'm in the States, so I miss that. I miss the landscape, I miss the air in Scotland, I miss the smell of the rain and the smell of the green and the colours of Scotland and the people and the culture. I could just keep going on and on. What am I doing living over there? Anyway. 